What a conversation. <laughs> I don't know how we will be able to follow with so much energy. So it's my great pleasure to host on this stage uh, His Excellency Khaled Al Faleh on my left, Minister of Investment of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, and His Excellency Fahad Rashid, the President of the Royal Commission for Riyadh City. The question I have, Your Excellency, is to both of you. After this very inspiring conversation, very energetic, very optimistic, is uh, just I was taking some notes when I was watching the, uh, attending this discussion. The vision for Riyadh doubling the size of the economy and doubling the population to 15 million by 2030 is more than ambitious. <laughs> so, Your Excellencies, I think you, you must, I don't want to be on your seat because you may feel the weight on your shoulders. So, how do you make that vision a reality? Maybe, Your Excellency, you want to start to answer? I think uh, he's uh, in the hot seat, so let him start. <laughs> Richard, you just had 15 minutes of this. Imagine my life. Uh, since being appointed as the president of the Royal Commission, uh, we've had 100 directives, programs, initiatives, and projects in the city of Riyadh, uh, led by the leadership of King Salman and uh, His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince. What you see today, what he mentioned as a strategy, is not just a big idea. His Royal Highness has taught us that vision without execution is hallucination. So this vision has been translated to a full strategy as His Royal Highness said, we will announce it in the next couple of months. We're putting the final details on it. But it is a significant change for the status quo. For those who will say, how can you grow and double the economy and the population and become a top 10 city in just 10 years? Riyadh has done it 60 times over the past six decades under the leadership of King Salman. So Riyadh is used to this hyper growth and has been built for it. Of course, we will have other means of managing this massive growth, but we are ready. Our strategy, which will come out in the next couple of months, has several layers. First layer is the layer of ec uh, expanding our economic footprint. Here, we realize we have a strength in banking. We, have, we are a diplomatic hub, obviously, but there are many industries that we can uh, enter into. One was mentioned by His Royal Highness, which is industry and logistics which we, we will make us a hub for 100 million people in the region. Others are biotech, art, culture, etc. A second is around improving livability. And projects like the King Salman Park or Riyadh Green, or just the plethora of offering we will have in Riyadh will improve that tremendously. Third is talent. You can't double the economy without doubling the jobs, which means we need the talent. And the talent here, we are focused on improving local talent, 65% of the population is under 30, which is a huge treasure. We need to improve our PISA scores, we need to improve our university uh, outcomes, but also focus on vocational training. And of course, attract global talent, men and women from all over the world in the new industries that we um, uh, mean to domicile here in the kingdom. The fourth element is of critical importance, the spatial manifestation of the city. The spatial elements, whether it's as simple as the building code, all the way to transportation and mobility to accommodate this massive influx of people. And here we're building the 13th largest metro uh, project in the world. And finally, I would say the word that His Royal Highness always reminds us of, governance, governance, governance. It's great to have a target. But you need to have plans, you need to have, to have timelines, and a mechanism to govern this. And this is what the Royal Commission is. The Royal Commission is an umbrella for all government agencies and stakeholders to ensure that the plans for Riyadh happen w in this grand ambition. Amazing. Minister al you please. Well, you mentioned the weight on the shoulder. It's actually exhilarating and exciting to be one of his uh, team uh, and to deliver uh, on that message. Uh, and that vision. And he does not only give us the vision, he does not only drive us hard, but he enables us. I think every minister who, will, who is here with us today will tell us that they are enabled and they are empowered to deliver on this great vision. In terms of what His Excellency Fahad said about Riyadh, it's going to be achieved by the private sector. This vision 
and this strategy is private sector led. It is done by the private sector for the private sector. These are going to be profitable opportunities. The quantitative target is huge. Uh, there was a mention of 1.5 trillion by the PIF. The total pie is 6 trillion that His Royal Highness talked about to the World Economic Forum uh, a few days ago during the next year, and it's going to be by the PIF, by large Saudi companies, FDI, which will grow by an order of magnitude, and of course our dear Saudi investors who are going to be also in the cockpit as this engine uh, drives forward. The investment environment that we are putting together to enable this includes regulatory reforms, it includes special economic zones. We're currently studying over 20 special economic zones, and Riyadh will get five or six of them in addition to the financial district, which will house international and host international companies. They will be specialized economic zones for digital, for creative, for logistics. As uh, Fahad mentioned, the airport will probably be one of the first one with an integrated uh, bonded logistics zone that will be launched soon and of course there will be plenty of financing not only from the PIF but for from the NDF and from a very strong Saudi financial sector that will also work with the international financial uh, community but all of this will be encased by a regulatory environment that is going to be second to none in terms of being investor friendly reducing the, the risk of doing business, accelerating the ease of, do, ease of doing business, and making doing business in the kingdom the most competitive. Uh, allow me to stay with you, uh, Minister Falah. Uh, your plan is great. It's fantastic that you have this plan. But as we all saw recently, unexpected events happen. And the financial crisis, the oil crisis, the COVID-19 pandemic, so how do you build resilience? How do you manage risk? And what, you have, uh, what have you learned from the past uh, events? As you mentioned, these, these black swans and unexpected events hit. Uh, they hit the rest of the world and they hit us. And I think just this recent past, this recent 12 months, have shown the kingdom as a whole to be one of the most resilient economies. It's our quality leadership, sound decision making, underpinned by good governance, as His Excellency Fahad mentioned early, uh, and, and, and that has earned us the trust of our own citizens, which is fundamental, but also, uh, also uh, investors. So our contingency plans are strong. Our financial sector is one of the strongest, it's one of the top five uh, financial sectors within the G20, uh, and that helps us to, to have the space to react to, uh, to these crises uh, when they do hit. Our healthcare, healthcare sector was also tested and came out strong, as we all know, in dealing with COVID-19. So I'm not worried about resilience, but our continuous upgrade of our regulations is also going to address resilience in digital uh, infrastructure uh, also in terms of the regulations that will attract FDI and the qualitative sector, sectors of the future that we are trying to attract, whether it's biotechnology, information technology, fourth industrial re revolution and so on. All of these qualitative sectors are being attracted and are going to be underpinned by very strong and enabling regulations. Your Excellency uh, Fader Rashid, when we were preparing this FII, under the leadership of uh, His Excellency Yasser Umayy, and we got many calls following an article uh, which was in the Financial Times recently uh, mentioning that Riyadh has a plan to lure regional headquarters of multinational companies. Is it true? Uh, well, uh, as a city, I can tell you that this is normal. We want to attract investments from around the world, but also from within the country. Uh, so it is normal for cities to actually want to attract companies. Cities around the world, there are more than 10,000 of them, by the way, they all compete for capital, human talent, and visitors. So it's totally natural. But Riyadh taking its place and developing an economy the size that we're talking about here is an opportunity for everyone. 
it means that the center of gravity, frankly, globally, is going to also shift to the Middle East and to Saudi Arabia and the GCC. So we welcome to work with our global partners who are committing with us, but also in cities in the region. Ultimately, we need to work with these cities, and cities succeed mostly by connecting with other cities. So we look forward to working with our partners around the world, whether it's companies or cities, to make sure that our vision works for us, works for Saudi Arabia, but it is actually for the betterment of the world. I think, uh, first, allow me to thank you for hosting uh, FII in Riyadh. <laughs> and thank you. Now I understand more and more why we made the right decision <laughs> to be in this amazing global city for this global conversation. And I think to be very concrete with what you just say, we have a video which I am inviting you to, to watch. Hello, everyone, and a very warm welcome to this very special event. Today marks the beginning of a very promising journey uh, where we signed the agreement to locate your regional headquarters to our beloved capital, Riyadh. It's a pleasure to be with you. Uh, first and foremost, I thank you for being with, uh, with us uh, here. City of Riyadh uh, definitely has a tremendous past, a very exciting present, and a very ambitious future. We're ready to issue an integrated end-to-end -end strategy for uh, enabling investment in the kingdom to allow these six trillion profitable investments to happen for your companies, for your partners, and for the private sector, a future that is becoming a reality here in the Middle East with Riyadh at, at the heart of it. So Riyadh is transforming to become a world economic, uh, world-class economic capital. The MOU we are signing today to uh, invest in Riyadh is aligned with our vision for the kingdom and look forward to enable, uh, as you said, an ambitious, exciting new future for our industry and for the world. Uh, we very much look forward uh, to continue to be part of the future of the kingdom and uh, support also the realization of the ambitious uh, vision that has been crafted. And uh, we're very proud to, uh, to sign the commitment uh, today. And we look forward to continue the partnership with you and uh, with, uh, with the kingdom. Riyadh is undergoing a remarkable transformation to reinforce its positioning as one of the world's major global centers for business, tourism, and quality of life. Deloitte is honored to be a strategic partner for the city in its journey to achieve its ambitions under Vision 2030. Saudi Arabia is for us the most strategic market in the region, and we are certain that by establishing our regional hub in Riyadh, we will expand our footprint and create high-skilled employment in the kingdom. We are proud of our trusted relationship with the Saudi government and are thrilled to support the kingdom's transformation through our regional consulting headquarters in Riyadh. And I'm absolutely excited about the acceleration and youth in startups that we have seen uh, in Riyadh and across Saudi and the region uh, since we've been investing here the last five years. And uh, we are very honored and privileged for gi giving us this opportunity to be part of this journey. We look forward to uh, recruiting, hiring and investing in the city of Riyadh. Uh, the company uh, have started recently in Saudi. We are uh, focusing on Riyadh, having 100% uh, teams of Saudi uh, young youth here. Today, actually, I'm in your city to support with my team the vaccination program on COVID-19. So those are uh, challenging times for us. But in parallel of that, we are very excited to uh, build here our own team in your city. Fantastic. So this is to everyone. This is a great right. moment. Thank you so much. This is really vision in action. Honored. And uh, have chosen Riyadh to be the home of your regional headquarters. And we are honored to have you with us in this beautiful journey. There is so much for us to do, so much to give. You will have massive contributions to our economy, to our content, to our talent, and to the city as a whole. And we are grateful for that. We look forward to our future together. And this is just the beginning of endless opportunities to discover and to untap within the city of Riyadh. Thank you so much for this commitment, and we look forward to seeing you too. So when I see all this logo, definitely it's a place to be. And with your permission, I would like also to take that opportunity to thank the strategic partners of the FI Institute, which uh, are helping us to put everything together. I would like to thank HSBC, Madden, Reliance Group, Riyadh Bank, Sabic, Saudi Aramco, 
STC who made this event possible. Thank you very much. Thank you, Your Excellencies. Please, a round of applause for Your Excellencies. Thank you.